Hi guys, welcome to my channel and sorry about the camera situation. My power director, which what I was using, expired today and I'm just not sure I want to invest that much money again on the program. It's like everything's so expensive. But anyhow, I'm not going to fuss and complain. What I'm going to do is do an unboxing and an opening a Dollar Tree small haul and then when we went when I last showed you these um, leaves I talked about going in on the the whole parts and trying to make them look a little older those are my alcohol markers and these the colors that I'm getting so I think I want to try the first warm gray I don't know if this was it or not. No, that one's black. And it's missing a tip that I'm going to have to find. Blue-gray, that wasn't it. <laughs> Warm gray, let's see if you are it. That one's pretty dark. I think that's this one. Pretty dark. Had like five warm grays. Can you imagine? And I want to say... Brown. It was this one. That one seems a little dark too. This one is olive green, which is that one. This one's light camel, green gray. I think that's this one. No, that's this one. Hmm. Well, warm gray. This is it. This one's it. Okay, so I want to see how it's going to look on this dark green. So maybe I'll just do the middle. Hey, that's not so bad. Not too bad. See? What I'm trying to do... Oh, sorry. This camera doesn't like white. There we go. Yeah, I think I like that one. Let's see what this one does. That one's a little too dark. So I think I'm going to go with... Was it this one? Yeah, it's this one. It was this one. And then we'll get into the Dollar Tree stuff. The reason I was doing this is because on some of these holes it's there but it's also a little like I was hoping to make it see just a little bit of the darker brown maybe to give it some interest around this side yeah, it's not too bad not too bad I don't want to do them all in case I don't like it but I could always pop that out just like so and then we've got that trim around the edge So it looks a little more old. Okay, so fiddling around with that. And then I might use my um, watercolors as well. <clears throat> Especially since I wasn't too thrilled about that. It's not bad, but it wasn't the look I was going for. Okay, getting into the Dollar Tree. I read or saw in a video somewhere... YouTube video. Is. Dollar Tree had Tim Holt stuff. Haven't seen it. Been looking. Our Dollar Tree though is not the greatest. Okay, so I got remember the uh, whimsical Halloween journal. I got this to put on that back. Look at that. There's even. I got it to put on the back side. This is reindeer moth. 
some wood chips. So I want to glue it on that back where I have the glow-in-the-dark paint. Kind of make it look like mold is growing out of it or moss. Either way. And then I got this for my white Christmas tree. I'm going to take the skulls off though. The skulls are coming off. So it'll just be that black and white. Black and white. That's all I want. Now if you guys saw, I'm going to take all those skulls off. Not that I don't like skulls. You know, Halloween is Halloween. But what I want to do is put this on my white Christmas tree and go back to the jazz jazz Christmas jazzy Christmas anyhow it was a decorate your life <coughs> uh, paper collection that I had and I had made some ornaments with it so I want to put this on the tree and then hang the big ornaments I want to decorate the tree with it so that was that and then I got these because right now I'm working on um, a, a Halloween project for Decorate Your Life. And I'm working on um, a boo bag. Uh, it says artificially, I don't know what they're, looks like this one might be chocolate. <coughs> We're going to find out. one will be for Rhonda. I'll have it tonight. Well, or I'll just smell it and see and then have it tomorrow. But these are just props. These just go with a project that I'm hoping to get finished by Halloween. It <sighs> smells like chocolate. Definitely smells like chocolate. Well, I'm going to be mad if there was an easier opening on this side. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. No, I don't guess so. Anyhow, hope life is good for you guys. I'm just... Everything's kind of up in the air for me right now. Well, not in a bad way, but just decisions that I have to make and... And sometimes, you know, it's about the best choice, right? And either way, I'm, I mean, I'm good. Like I said, don't worry. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted as things change, but... Okay. Yes, that smells like... That is chocolate. No, it's not chocolate, I don't think. I'll have to eat more of it and tell you. And then I got this. It says high tech cleaning compound. Throw away if it gets darker and stickier. Absorbs dirt and dust. I guess it's chocolate. Anyhow. Does not leave residue. Ideal for all devices and surfaces. Catches dust, dirt, and kills germs. Do not rub, just press. Do not leave it on too long. Please pinch before using and put back into the hermetic bag after using. Properly store away from direct sunlight and keep in a dry place. Huh. Oh, it's a, it's a, we it. I'm going to give that a try. And look. You guys remember the giant, uh, what do I call them, sponges that you blend your makeup splenders. Look at these. Minis. Minis. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give these a try. Cause what I like about them was their tip. Sorry about eating candy. What I liked about them was the tip. See if I can find a tag with a hole in it. 
No, not handy. But anyhow, here we go. Okay, so you got your hole on your tag and you ink it. See? You can ink that side and then ink that side if you don't want to put lace in it or pen. Another baking pan for my, we call it air fryer. And then I got mountain pine scent bergamot cedar wood because it smelled good. And then I got disposable washcloths because they're large, but look at my mask. So anyhow, I'll let you guys know how those work. And that's the end of my little mini haul and my video. So hopefully this pans out and works out and I don't have issues with my voice being ahead of or lagging behind on the camera. All right, guys, until I can get a new um, video editing software, we'll be kind of stuck with this. If you don't mind, let me know if you, what software you use and if you like it. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.